Hey, little gay boys and girls and pancakes. <laughs> and straight boys who sneak and watch my videos and love me too, yes. Y'all, I think we could all agree that social media in so many ways has been a blessing to so many people. I mean, social media has really... Um, really changed the way that we interact with each other. And in some ways, that's good. It's brought some people together. It's reunited some people. I know so many people who have found their daddies on social media. Now, like me, did their daddy come back? No. <laughs> but, I mean, a lot of us have found, you know, relatives on there. Um, we found lovers on there. Um, and we have met a lot of people that, you know, if it weren't for social media, we would not have met. There are also some things on social media, some people, too, you know, like exes, like crazy bitches who like to come back into the picture, um, that social media has been a not-so-great thing. Another thing that bothers me on social media at the moment is, listen, it's 5 in the afternoon, in the evening. And I usually check all my social media around that time. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Christian Mingle, and Vine. Okay. <laughs> and I got on Vine. And this has been going on for a while. And, and listen, Vine is six seconds. I'm talking about just... And he's not, it's just a big old, like, and that look, you know that boy delivered? I, that look like his booty. Ugh. And it's like, these are six second video clips, okay? And it, mm, and it, mm, mm, and it's just, and them things, you can tell them booties. Mm, the blood of Jesus. Ugh. Mm. And it's just like, those are six second videos, okay? You can trauma. <laughs> You can traumatize a motherfucker in six seconds. And I have been looking at a lot of these videos that are finding their way onto my timelines and feeds. And, bitch, it's just, I'm never going to be the same again. And at first it was cute because, I mean, I think we all, especially if you're a gay man or, I mean, it doesn't matter what you are. I mean, if you're on social media, you do follow one or two things or people that, you know, kind of lean toward the provocative side. And that's because that person that you follow or are interested in, they do it well. That's what they do. They online doing it for free, you know, nine times out of ten. They take great pictures or whatever. You know, they the pro bono ho. And, you know, you watch and you enjoy what they do, Right. But as far as, these, and I mean, everybody is doing it now. I was on Twitter the other night, and I follow a few adult entertainers on Twitter. And I guess one of, somebody had sent a video to one, and he retweeted it. And I looked at it, and I just go to check out the profile. This is the boy who works up the street from where I live. Okay, at the Walgreens, he works there. And every time I go in there, that bitch overcharges me on the bananas. Okay? And I have a problem with that. Bitch, learn how to count before you put your pimply ass online. Okay? As far as these, as these other people, it's like, do you not have respect for yourself? If you are able to stop having sex, okay, and in the middle of doing it, you mid-stroke and you're able to stop the videotape what you're doing, the sex must not be that great. Okay? As far as these other people, it's like, why would you not take a bath before you put a video on? Even the twerk videos. Have you seen the twerk video where, like, you look at it and it's like, you're just looking at it and you know, like, that booty hole shaking and stuff is just fanning funk all across that room and you have to, like, just keep Lysol next to your bed to spray around your phone after you see these. It's out of control. Like, this one boy, again, this boy up here at the Walmart made this video eight seconds long. Bitch, I had to go watch Oprah and meditate on the good things in life. <laughs> because it was just traumatizing, like, and it was just, it was stretched out, it was out of control, like, his booty hole looked like it had an EBT card, <laughs> I mean, it was just, it was unbelievable, and it's just like, I don't get it, like, so many people are making, like, homemade 
poor movies, putting them online, traumatizing people for life. I personally feel like social media is a platform that we all can use now to, if your life is not going so great, embellish whatever is going on in your life that is good. Because according to social media, all of us are balling. I mean, everybody lives in a penthouse suite, is driving a Maserati. I'm talking about uh, a Lamborghini or some shit, you know, eating lobster grits and shrimp for dinner. And if we can all go through that trouble to embellish our lives just a little bit, can't you just wash your ass before you put it on Vine? I mean, it is so traumatizing. As a matter of fact, just I watched those two. Those were each 12 seconds apiece. I'm going to have to go meditate on the goodness of God when I finish doing this because that was so out of control. All I'm saying is I just feel like if you're going to do it, you should at least try to find a way to get paid to do it, okay? Or if you can't, at least watch that thing because it's getting out of control. Just dirty booties all over the timeline. Everybody is doing it, and it's really, it's getting out of hand. It's just I understand people use social media for whatever, you know, they need to use it for, for whatever, but some of this shit is just getting out of hand. I just wanted to voice my opinion on that. I have seen so many just, oh, it is out of hand. Oh, I'm going to need to go pray and burn some incense and everything. And it's just, oh, because it's just, and it just catches you off guard. It's just out of control. Anyway, that's just one of my little social media pet peeves that I wanted to share because I see it so much. And I saw it and I was like, this is out of control. Anyway, uh, please share any of your pet peeves. Please comment, rate, subscribe, share with your friends, connect with me on social media. And thank y'all for watching. I just had to get that off my chest because I'm like, does this happen on your, is this, it, I don't know. Maybe I need to unfollow them. I don't know because they just, they started out as good kids that I met down at the church and now it's just, and some of them, it just gets retweeted and it's just like out of hand. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Please let me know what y'all think. Peace.